happy fucking new year, huh? Uh, as you may know, or may not know, uh, most of the time I film stuff at the bar uh, before the game happens, pre-recorded. Um, but this time I'm actually filming, I think pretty, I'm pretty sure this is like the first time I'm filming on a Tuesday morning. Two days after the game. But uh, yeah, we beat the Raiders. Um, some might say it wasn't a pretty win. Because, you know, a lot of people thought we would blow the Raiders away or something. But I always tell everybody, there's no such thing as an easy game. There's no such thing. Because it's usually the easy games that you lose. Um, we started off looking kind of flat. Our defense just seemed like they couldn't stop the Raiders. Uh, Stidham looked good. Um, kind of makes you wonder why the Patriots got rid of him. Maybe they should have just kept him because... Mac Jones doesn't look that much better than him. But um, Stidham wasn't the reason why the Raiders lost, though. We actually... It was a hard-fought game on both sides. Both teams played like it was a fucking playoff game. A lot of fighting going on in the field. A lot of pushing, a lot of shoving. <coughs> Very physical game. <coughs> and those are always the fun ones to watch. Both teams were very competitive. Both teams really wanted that win. Of course, the 49ers and the Raiders have a long, violent history. And I, this is the first time we went into their Las Vegas stadium. Can't remember the name of it. Which, by the way, for the record, beautiful stadium. Very, very nice looking stadium. Um... I first really got a look at it when I was playing Madden, <clears throat> and they were showing, yeah, I know it's a video game, but hey, it's all based on the real thing, and I remember looking at it going, wow, you know, that's actually a really nice looking stadium, never really got to see it, and then when, when the game happened, um, uh, they were showing some YouTuber, I forgot his name, um, was, um, showing like a like giving a tour of the stadium before the game and uh, yeah very nice looking stadium but I'm not here to talk about the stadium um, yeah it's New Year's and I've decided to go raw on this one no cloudy no Bueller no uh, Jackula no characters but I noticed my bar is a fucking disaster so I'm just going to clean it here. I got nothing planned. Usually, you know, the day of or the day before, I plan out something funny to do. But just to warn you now, there's nothing funny in this one. I'm just going to simply clean my bar. Um, I'm not even drinking because it is 8 o'clock a.m. Tuesday morning. Uh, hopefully, I can get this video posted out today. Oh, I'm wearing my jersey that I gave myself. This is every year. When I go Christmas shopping, it's it's like become a little tradition. You know, I, I got my Christmas bonus, you know, I got all my money saved for shopping and everything. And it's like after I take care of everybody, after I get everybody something, I like to, uh, the cherry on the Sunday is I get myself a Christmas present, you know. To me, it's, it's like, it's like, uh old Barry Windham, you know, I'm patting myself on the back. Good job. Job well done. And to all a good night. Now let me give myself something. And I actually had a pretty good, a decent amount of money left over. So I was like, you know, because I'm not a rich man, you know. I, I don't think I've ever had $2,000 in my bank account, and I'm 42 years old. Um, pretty sad, huh? Yep. I'm I'm actually the boss of where I work, and I work I live paycheck to paycheck. If I lost my job today, you know, I'd probably be able to pay rent for one more month, and then we, I don't know what we would do. I would have to hurry up and find another job 
pronto. <laughs> um, yeah, this bar is a mess. I gotta. Anyway, yeah, enough about the, my financial situation. I'm comfortable enough. I'm not poor. It's just, you know, working class hero, that's all. But, uh, yes, I decided to get myself a McCaffrey jersey. Because I was like, you know what? Why not? Usually, lately, I, I've been trying not to buy jerseys anymore because it seems like one of two things always happens. One, I buy a jersey of someone, the next year, they're off the fucking team. And $100 for a jersey, uh, actually I believe it's like 120 130 with shipping and all that. And I always buy mine legit from 49ers, NFL, uh, f what is it, Fan Shop, whatever the hell it is. I always buy it from there. I don't like buying it off of Wish or these cheap ones. I, I bought a, a fake jersey once, and that was last year when I got the Trey Lance jersey. But there's an explanation. The only reason why I got the fake one is because it came with that 75-year patch that everybody was making such a big deal of. The patch alone was going for like a hundred bucks on eBay. So, <clears throat> and at the time when I went to go buy that jersey, it was before the season, I couldn't find a jersey with that patch on it. They weren't really selling them with the patch. So that's the only reason why I had to get the cheap version of that jersey. But, uh, oh yeah, this is a peach sparkling wine. <laughs> and it was very good. And I got two bottles for a reason. Um, a burned copy of Suburban Commando, you know, because everybody needs this. This is just plain old garbage. Uh, joy of Cooking. I found this in my closet. I don't know where the hell it came from. Oh, you know what? I think I found this in an empty apartment once, and I just kept it just for the hell of it. Um, I have no idea where to put this. I guess over here? This is my idea of cleaning, by the way. I take things from one spot and just move it over to another spot. You know, that's how I clean. <laughs> ah, now the bar is nice and clean. And then I turn around. Holy shit, kitchen is a disaster. All right. But yeah, um, everybody's been talking about it, so I might as well. Uh, last night during the Bengals-Bills game, uh, the Bills safety, and I'm very sorry, I forgot his name, starts with a D, Denard or something like that, actually had a heart attack on the fucking field. And that's scary to see because it's like, wow, someone that's younger than me and someone that's actually like in shape, <laughs> you know what I mean, had a heart attack. But it's not, then I found out he didn't have a heart attack because he was out of shape. It wasn't because of health reasons. It's not because he eats too much uh, fat or whatever. Um, no, it, it, it's something to do with his heartbeat. And everybody, everybody's heartbeat has a spike in it, you know. And if you get hit in the heart at that precise moment where your heart is spiking, uh, that can actually happen. So that can actually happen to any player at any time, or anybody at any time. It can happen during a car accident. Maybe, who, maybe who knows? Maybe that's how Macho Man went. Um, but yeah, apparently he's back. His vital signs are normal, and he's back to he's he's good to go. So, um, but that's got to be scary for him and his family and his teammates and everybody that was watching last night. I actually wasn't la watching last night. Um, I wanted to watch the game, but I actually got really tired, like early, like 8.30, I went to bed, and I like kind of totally forgot that I wanted to watch the game, because Bill's Bengals, that's a good showdown. Um, but uh, yeah, I went to bed, went to sleep, and then woke up this morning, thoughts and prayers for Denard, or oh, God, I wish I knew his name, I feel like an idiot right now, I gotta look it up. but. Uh, thoughts and prayers all over Facebook and I was just like you know Damar Hamlin I'm sorry Damar Hamlin um, and I'm just like wait what happened so I, and then I had to look and look it up and I'm like holy shit what the fuck so waking up to that this morning was kinda weird um, and you know I'm not even gonna bother cleaning the bar it's clean enough 
Who cares? <laughs> Still got that black label cider. <clears throat> Still untouched. I think about having the Christmas party and doing the New Year's and this has stayed here. <laughs> and you know what was funny? I was actually walking through uh, a liquor store yesterday buying some beer. And, oh, actually, no, that's not true. I, I actually got root beer flavored whiskey <laughs> and mixed it with root beer. But um, I had the day off of work yesterday because New Year's Day fell on a Sunday, so I get my Monday off. Same thing with Christmas. Um, but I actually seen this sitting on a little on a little rack in the store yesterday, and it was just like 20% off. <laughs> So they're getting rid of all their Christmas liquor. And it's just like, this shit sucks, man. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe if I'm desperate enough, I'll drink it again. Or maybe if you just... Maybe if you pour this, like, in some hot chocolate, it might work. Because I've actually done that before with the Winter Jack. Try it. It's awesome. But anyway, yeah, 49ers beat the Raiders. It wasn't a pretty game. Um, but... I think the most important thing about the game is D'Amico Ryans is really good at adjusting during the half because our defense always seems to look different in the first half than they do in the second. You know, the first half it seems like if you're going to throw up any big plays, big passes against us, it looks like that's the time to do it. When the game first starts, your opening drive, your scripted plays there because it's not going to work in the second half. Or I don't know, maybe uh, maybe teams, in order to beat us, do the opposite, you know? Do a lot of running in the first half, and then in the second half come out firing and just fucking light it up, and maybe that's how you could beat us. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I don't really have much to say today. It was a good game. Uh, Brock Purdy did decent, better than decent. Uh, he kept drives alive. He, uh, you know had that one interception that didn't look too pretty but uh for the most part you know he kept his head in the game had that no memory fucking mentality and just keep fucking playing anyway and we got the win uh McCaffrey fucking what can I say the, the guy's a beast you know all the years that he was on the Panthers it's like I never really knew much about him you know I I only knew Everybody was always talking McCaffrey, 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 and he's such a good running back. And basically, the only time I would get to watch the Panthers play is like if the, if if we're playing them, you know what I mean? And and it and it was always just like, eh, I don't know why everybody says this guy's so great. He's not that good, you know. And, and it never really, I never really followed. I don't follow any teams. I only follow the Niners, you know. I barely followed the Cowboys, and it's only because my entire family are made up of Cowboys fans. But, um, yeah. I feel like I'm all over the place today here. <laughs> now back to the jersey. I, I, I didn't finish what I was saying before. The reason why I stopped buying jerseys of players is because either the next year they're gone, and then I spent a hundred and... $30 on a jersey for nothing because now I have a jersey in my closet of a player that's not in the team anymore. Um, or I actually feel like I'm, start, I'm starting to feel like maybe I'm the bad luck guy because it seems like whenever I buy a jersey of a player they get hurt and they're out for the whole fucking year. And then I remember there was one year, I, I think it was like the 2020 season where I was just like Every single jersey that I have, and I had like five jerseys, <laughs> all those players are out. <laughs> so I remember thinking, what, what jersey do I wear? <laughs> so, uh, it was very confusing. But, um, that's why I like to make custom ones lately. It's more expensive, but I feel like it's worth it because you get to keep it for the rest of your life. Like that Jason Voorhees jersey that I got. You know, I can just wear that forever. Jason Voorhees isn't going to leave the team. He's not going to go become a Bengal and then I, you know, I, I can't wear it anymore or something. I, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fictional fucking jersey. Um, I've considered making a jersey with my actual name on it. 
Someday maybe I will, but I know one thing, I'm always number seven. I've been seven my whole life. I'm seven when I create myself in Madden. I'm seven when I create myself in NBA 2K games. I'm seven in baseball. I was seven in Little League. I'm always number seven. So if I was ever going to make a jersey of myself, yes, it would be number seven. Anyway, yeah, it's New Year's. Um, don't have much else left to say. Next week, we close the season out against the Cardinals. Um, if the Eagles lose, apparently we become the number one seed. That would be cool. Because for the rest, from here on out, there's a good chance that we'll, we'll never have to leave the West Coast. We'll either be playing all of our games home, or um, plus next week we play in Arizona, and then not to mention the Super Bowl is in Arizona. So, I mean, the only time we would ever have to face uh, travel east is if we end up playing the Eagles in the playoffs. And, whew, that's going to be a tough game. You know, that's when we're going to find out which one of us is the real deal and which one of us is going home um, which one of us is the frauds but me personally I think we're gonna kill the Eagles that's that's my opinion because I, I'm still sticking with my guns the Eagles haven't played any good fucking teams the whole goddamn season so I mean there might have been one game where they played a good team but they lost <laughs> you know what I mean? They lost against the Cowboys. Didn't they lose against the Cowboys twice, both times? I mean, come on. We got it. The only... I could see us going to the Super Bowl again and then losing again to either the Bills or, god damn it, the Chiefs. I hate losing against a team twice like that. Especially because after the first time, and then we lost to them th at the beginning of this year, but it's like, I feel like we didn't really get our shit together. The team that we have now is the best team, better than the 2019 team, and we're better now than we were when we played the Chiefs earlier on in the season. Uh, but I feel like this team was put together to beat the Chiefs. And I just don't think it's going to happen because I really wish Mosley didn't get hurt because that was a big blow. Because as we're all seeing now, Lenore is getting exposed and Hufunga a little bit too. Um, that whole right side, quarterbacks are having more su success throwing a ball on that side of the field than they are against uh, Mooney Ward and Jimmy Ward. Um, the only thing I could think of is what if we... What if we made a little switch, you know? What if we put Hufunga behind Javarius Ward and put Jimmy Ward behind Lenore? Or maybe possible put Ambry Thomas back in because, honestly, I think he's the better corner and I don't understand why he lost his job. He did good last year. I, I don't get it. I don't understand why uh, Shanahan or D'Amico, whoever made the decision, to start Lenore, it was kind of weird because Lenore to me seems more like a slot, I mean a nickelback, than a, than, uh, it just didn't make any sense to me. But whatever, I guess maybe he's a tad faster, I don't know. But if I was the coach of the team, and if I was calling the shots, I'd put Ambry Thomas in there. Or fuck it, put Janoris Jenkins in there, see what he could do. Um... <sighs> yeah, that's basically all I gotta say. Until next week, when we go to face the Cardinals. Um... Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to talk about. Over the weekend, I was gonna make a video about it, but I was like, nah. Fuck it. Because it's just, just too messy eating the wings and everything on camera. And it's gross. No one wants to see that. But uh, I ended up buying Steve-O's Hotter Hot Sauce. 
And unfortunately, the only one I can get was this um, Japanese import, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But I got it, and I believe this one's called the Ass Blaster. Um, and I tried it over the weekend, and it definitely is hotter. In fact, I had to run over to the sink and rinse my mouth out with water and milk and all that shit again. So, all right, Steve-O, you upped, you upped your game there. That one definitely is fucking hotter. It's like, it's, 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 it's pretty much like, um, it's pretty much like this disco one that I tried here, Cosmic Disco. I mean, it's just as hot. It was pretty fucking badass. But, um, I wanted to make a little promise here. A little New Year's resolution. I don't want to do this, but I will. I'm going to buy a bottle of a hot sauce that I never thought I would ever buy again. It actually got thrown out by accident over at my mother's house because they had a blackout. And she threw out everything in the fridge, including my hot sauces. And I was so mad. I was like, I can't believe he threw that away on me. Because even though I'll never eat it again, I just like to save the bottles. There's going to get to a point after a couple of years of being in the fridge, I'm sure it's going to start getting hardened and you're not going to be able to eat it anymore, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. It'll expire. But when that day comes, I'm going to have to empty out the bottle rinse them out, and then just like put them up on top of my cabinet or something and just save it. But um, I, I don't want to throw away any hot sauce that I ever buy ever because I want to save it. But I'm going to buy, again, the bomb. The worst fucking hot sauce that you can get because it's not even really a hot sauce. It's an extract. And I'm going to get it. Man, that shit sucks. It's worse than the 357, Mad Dog 357. And I'm going to say it right now. If we don't win the fucking Super Bowl, if, if we lose in the playoffs or lose in the Super Bowl, if we lose, when we lose, I am going to make a video the next day of me eating that goddamn hot sauce or extract, whatever you want to call it. So let's really hope that we do not fucking lose here. I've been waiting a long time. I haven't seen us win a Super Bowl since I was 14 years old. And I didn't even really get to watch the whole damn game because I was a kid and I was stupid and I was, my cousins were over and we were like outside playing basketball and stuff and, you know, they weren't really interested in football. So, like, I mean, I watched like the first quarter but then... When I seen, oh, we got this. We we are we're blowing the Chargers away. This game is over. You know, I kind of just like kind of lost interest and went and played outside with with them and everything. And every once in a while, I'd come back and look at the TV and be like, oh yeah, we're still killing them. Oh wow, we're really killing them. And then I would walk away again. But and it really sucked because you know I was just a kid. Would have been nice to actually watch the whole game as it was happening since then of course I went back and watched it on YouTube and yeah great game um, watched all of them on YouTube um, but it would be really nice to fucking watch us win another Super Bowl again I thought for sure we had that Chiefs one Chiefs one one you know but they just came back. <laughs> like, we had them. We had them against the ropes. And it's almost like started celebrating before it was fucking over. And then turned around and boom! Knockout. Anyway, here's my prediction. Or maybe it's just wishful thinking. 49ers, Bengals, Super Bowl. 49ers, 35, Bengals, 17. Go Niners!